What's good? What's happening guys? It's Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech, and today we're doing an unboxing with nothing other than the PlayStation Dual Edge. Jeez! Yeah, man, waiting a minute for this, and I'm finally glad it's came. This thing is quite hefty. In fact, the standard box of a PlayStation 5 uh, controller to uh, the DualSense Edge. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite a big boy quite a big boy so dive into this thing see what it's saying and yeah man yeah perfect your gameplay it's all mad man this is going to give me the edge that i very much need or hope i need in gaming so it comes with ultra customizable controls mappable back buttons nice dual sense control built in i bloody well hope so uh, replaceable stick modules you can see on the back there it comes with all the gadgetry that you could do with this now controller when you're just trying to get the edge over your competitors or just get a better edge in single player games where you want to play this thing with it's all there let's get a trusty knife and get this thing open i don't know i'm trying to be so careful for like it's all mad boom there we go box is now finally open, Ooh. boom, 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 just random plastic, alright, box is out of the way, and first thing we'll see is uh, the PlayStation logo, so that must mean it opens up this way, to some white cellophane, so this must be the case it comes in, I'm just going to use this box here, so yeah, it comes in a nice little carrier case in case you're like, I don't know, going places with this thing. Look at this. This thing is also, I'm pretty sure you could charge this case as well. I'm not trying to break it. There you go. You can't charge the case. My bad. I thought you could. It's got actually like Velcro to the top of the controller where you can decharge it. I thought you charged the case and the case charged the controller. That's not actually the case. No, it's even got like a little hook thing there. So you could hook that somewhere. But this thing is... It's not light, it's not light, but it's, it's hard, it's hard plastic. Woo! And as we open it up, straight away, look at that, look at that. And the first thing I want to check out is the actual controller. So, let's take away all this. Man, oh man, this thing looks gorgeous if we just compare it to the original white controller pad they they just do the stuff on purpose don't they they just do the stuff on purpose i like the black all out everywhere compared to the white uh so it's gonna go closer to the cam there i don't know if you can see that but the patterns all over the, the touch pad that's quite nice the the, the shoulder buttons they got kind of a uh, tactile grip there as well. Also with the uh, controller, I mean the uh, the buttons, the triangle, X, circle, and square. Yeah, man, this is super, it looks super nice, super glossy. So I hope you don't pick up too many fingerprints in that. But that is actually quite nice. Up here, you've now got a braided cable rather than your standard one. So boy this is not your, your everyday kind of cable and it also comes with the uh, playstation logo as well uh so boy unlike the other one i don't think that one comes with a playstation logo so if that ever goes missing you never know you took your took your thing got like all your replaceable stuff for your controller can this come out so these are the back pedals for the back of the controller You've got two of those, obviously. Just trying to put it back. It actually molds straight back into it. You obviously got your left and right. I think you've got smaller back pedals as well. Oh, this smells actually quite gorgeous. You got your replaceable thumb sticks. Replace that quite quickly if you want. Quite interesting as well. You've now got a 
lock locked in for your controller so I know this is best for shops or if you're going for tournaments with this kind of thing but yeah I don't know if you're going to be sitting in front of your PlayStation 5 that close unlike me mine's literally right in front of me right now but yeah this might come in handy for some people this might not you know what I'm saying but there it is I don't know if people have to throw the controller and that, that's going to put them off or something actually actually very very nice uh, so yeah, let's check out the back of the controller. As you can see, the normal the normal thing there is just gonna lock into that. Uh, it's got the back here as well, so you can put those pads I was just talking about into the back there. So yeah, let's get the uh, lock in mechanism. I think it opens from the yeah, opens from the back. Trying to figure this out without actually <laughs> freaking looking at the manual, which I know is around here somewhere. So doing boom, there you go. Straight into the back like that. Straight into the back. Closed. That can now go into your controller. Just like that. And then is it lock? Booyah. See? He needs, a, he needs a manual, yeah? He needs a manual. Uh, all right, let's just try and change the uh, bottom of the dual sense. So there you go, it's got the FM buttons. Do you need a tool? I hope you don't. I don't want to break this thing. I don't want to break it. So I just unhinged it from the bottom there. I don't know if that's the best or proper way, but it seems like that's where the hooks are. So I just did that from the bottom. So now there's uh, additional hooks on the side here. Lift it up. And there, your module comes out. Nice. So let's unhook this one as well. All right, so the ones that actually stand with the controller, these are the ones that usually stand with the PS5 controller, as you can see here. Just pull those out like that. It comes off quite touchable and then obviously there's some that come with the controller just attach that boom so I think these are tall ones there you go so there's tall and short let me just use the tall I mean let me use the short ones actually boom so now replace those you see how they feel straight into the controller there you go almost looking like new or a different controller not like new it's past the new stage now. I'm just gonna put this back on. Oh yeah, that's nice. Clipped in. All right, so now I think we're just gonna just do the back. Boom, just like that. Now I've got pedals on the back. It was quite uh, responsive, quite, uh, not so much, unlike these, there's like, it's quite punchy already with the, the back. So that's, quite, that's actually quite nice. It's quite nice that. And if that's too much, I'm pretty sure you could use the oh, smaller pedals right here. So they've got these small ones. So yeah. There you go. Also, uh, small ones are available as well. So, with the big ones feel like you're getting in your way. Let's go for the small ones. Also, kind of feel like the same kind of responsiveness. Yeah. And like that, matter of moments, I've already changed my uh, edge. So, uh, I'm going to play with this for quite a while, do some tests and stuff, see how I feel about it. And I guess I'll let you guys know in about, I don't know, we'll see. A couple of months, maybe. And uh, yeah. Can't wait to check this out. But, guys. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you want to see more, you know what you have to do. Just like these videos. Comment down below. Are you getting the edge? Do you like what you've seen here today? And I'll see you on the next level. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.